here we go another Bible reading session for tonight stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled Revelation chapter 8 and when he had opened the seventh seal there was silence in heaven about the space of half of an hour and I saw the seven angels which stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets and another angel came and stood at the altar having the golden censer and there were given unto him much incense that she that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake and the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound the first angel sounded and they followed a hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees was burned up and all green grass was bur burned up and the second angel sounded as it were a great and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and the third part of the sea became blood and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed and the third angel sounded and they fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third part of the waters become became wormwood and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter excuse me and the fourth angel sounded and the third part of the sun was smitten and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars so as the third part of them was darkened and the day shone not for a third part of it and the night likewise and be i beheld it and heard it an angel flying through the midst of the heaven saying with a loud voice woe 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 to the inhabitant to the inhabitants of the earth by the reasons of the other voices of the trumpets of the three angels which are yet to sound chapter 9 and the fifth angel sounded and i saw a star falling from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and they arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by the by reason of the smoke of the pit and there what there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and upon them was given power and as the scorpions of the earth had power and it was commanded it was commanded then that this they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of god in their foreheads and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men and they had hair as the hair of of women and their teeth were as the teeth of lions and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle and they had tails like unto scorpions and they were stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name is in the hebrew tongue is abdom <clears throat> abaddon abaddon but in greek tongue has its name apollyon 
once one wall is passed and behold there came two walls more hereafter and the sixth and the sixth angel sounded and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river <clears throat> Euphrates, Euphrates, Euphrates and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and the day and the month and the year for to slay the third part of men and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of Jason, and of Jasoneth, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands and they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, not, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. That's uh, two chapters of the Revelations uh, I finished reading. Maybe I should read some more um, that I feel like reading, maybe, yeah. Um, Corinthians, maybe. <coughs> Colossians. Uh, Colossians. Colossians, Colossians. The epistle of Paul, the, Co the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Colossians, chapter one. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timoth, and Timoth, and Timotheus, our brother, to the saints, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which is come unto you, as it is in all of the world, as it is in all the world, and bringeth, and bringeth forth fruit, as it doeth also in you, since the day ye heard of it, and knew the grace of God in truth, as ye also learned of Epaphirus, <coughs> Ep our, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declare unto us your love in the Spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being faithful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long-suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the inheritance of the saints in light, 
who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn of the, from the dead, that in all things he might have the, uh, might have the pre preeminence, for it pleased the Father that it in him should all fullness the well, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you, that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now, yet, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, whereof I Paul, I Paul and made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church whereof I am made a minister, according to the dispensation, according to the dispensation of God, which is given to given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the ministry which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this ministry among the Gentiles which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which work worketh in me mightily. <sighs> yeah, maybe I wish you stop for now. Yeah, just need to make sure that I get an adequate amount of sleep. Hibernation slash. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay faithful, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Cheers.